Hey everyone! So I got some more new paint colors. <laughs> um, I did buy a couple of new Lucas paints. Uh, this is called Mauve and this one is Indigo Blue. So I wanted to try them in a flip and drag. They mixed up pretty, very pretty colors. And I'm going to use the Artist Loft Light Blue as well. So we're going to give those a shot today and see how they work. Um, I have a 12 by 24 canvas. Um, to do a flip and drag on. It's a big one. Bigger than my normal. I have so many I thought I better start using those. They're gonna start to dry out or something because they're not wrapped. I didn't want them to get yellow either. This is just um, Creative Inspirations White mixed with Floetrol and water. And this is purchased from Jerry's Artorama as well. Nice big jug. It's um, 60.87 ounces of paint. That jug right there will make a ton of paint if you're mixing with Floetrol. And I like the background paint runnier, so you really get quite a bit. I can get three cups of paint out of two thirds cup of that, but you do use a lot of Floetrol. Floetrol is probably my biggest expense. I, it's nothing for me to stop and get two gallons every couple of weeks or so. So I'm just getting it off the edges, thinning it down as much as I can. So when we airbrush, we don't get stuck in the puddles. I tried pouring this into a cup, this runoff, but um, what I do with it when I'm done with a painting is I'll take a little bit of this color that's left in the cups and I'll sprinkle it into the cup that I dragged with and make myself some skin so it's really not going to waste. I have six containers of skins that I'm just dying to play with so some of them are skins that I peel off the plastic, and some of them are skins that I put on photo paper. So I can't really use them all for uh, to do a collage painting where you use your medium and paint them on. I'm dying to try that though. I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna take a five ounce cup and I'm going to spray it with my WD-40 silicone spray. This stuff stinks, so if you're using it, don't spray it near your face or near your canvas. And I rub it into the cup because I already have silicone in my paints. I don't need this for cells. I just like that it releases the paint all the way down so I can see what's um, on the canvas itself. So I'm going to start with Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start with the light blue. And then I'm going to add the indigo blue. It's so pretty. I love dark colors. I don't know why. <laughs> and then we'll add some of this beautiful mauve. It reminds me of that purple lake that I used for the uh, string pull, but it has a little more pink to it. It's nice when you don't have to mix up colors. They're already mixed for you. <laughs> I did put quite a bit of paint in the cup only because we have such a big area to uh, stretch out on. So I'm just slowly mixing that up. And I'm going to pop it right in the middle and let that turquoise come down. 
all the trees are getting green here but the pollen is awful I've been coughing and sneezing I take Zyrtec every day but <laughs> I don't think it's helping this year we had a nice little rainstorm on Sunday so it did knock a lot of the pollen down gave me some relief we have a oozer okay so I'm just gonna drag this on the canvas Ooh, it's escaping. Get off the canvas. And you know me, I'm gonna go back in. Get some more paint. Cause I have a pile up here that I wanna bring some of that blue down. I don't know, I kinda like that blue there. Okay, let me just grab a little bit. I have to have enough paint to go to the end here. Okay, see in that, that's what I wanted. I wanted that mauve in that indigo to make a little purple. All right, so let me pull a little bit of this back this way. If you're very gentle, you can kind of move this paint around the way you want it. So we're probably going to go from dark to light, which is kind of cool. And the blue is right through the middle there. Okay, let me give it a torch and get the air bubbles out. I'm not concerned about cells right now, because I have plenty. And the white here, this white band here will sink a little bit, so we'll get some cells through that. You may not see them during the video, but they do show up. That's why I like to show the dried paintings on my Facebook page, because sometimes they look totally different than the video. And sometimes they don't look as pretty as the video, so make sure you check out my Facebook page. And that is Christina Welch Art. Okay, I got a little spot here that needs a little help. And I'm going to tip it just ever so slightly. I have this great bleed going on here, so I don't want to mess with that. And I'm going to come back this way just a little bit. What I'm doing is trying to get the paint on the edges so when I airbrush, I can push it out. Oh, that mauve is pretty there. Um, I've got a couple of shallow spots, so I want to just touch. This spot here is not cooperating. But other than that, I think we're good. this mound here <laughs> but I'll be pushing this out and try to be very gentle on that one okay so I'm going to start on that side I'm just going to touch the very edges of that lacing there because I don't want to lose that I'm so used to the 20s and I you know where I ran out of paint right there <laughs> Put more paint in the cup, though. I'm just putting a little accent on this lacing here. There's some color under there. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That mauve is gorgeous. Mixed with the blue a little bit made a hot purple.
This airbrush runs at 25 PSI, so you're not like blowing paint all over the place. If you have an airbrush with a compressor, turn your um, PSI down. Start at 25 and see if you're comfortable with it. You can turn it up, but you can't turn it down. That's the one thing. Once you're blowing, the damage is already done. So start, start light. Because you don't want to go in and go like this and muddle everything that you worked so hard to get. So. kind of bare there. And you don't have to worry about if you see a spot and just touch it. It's not going to dry like that unless you have paint on your finger. I always try to dip white first and then go. It just looked like a hair or something there. And I don't have dark hair, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. light blue went well with that indigo so I might try I think my next one will be a flip cup with those colors musical flip cup how's that sound on a 10 by 10 if I can find some good music <laughs> I wish I'd give us more music choices. Gorgeous. This is going to dry pretty dark right here, but I don't care. I love this. I love that blue there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's torch it. If that was more centered, you could hang this vertically, but it's not. So it's going to have to go horizontal just the way you're looking at it. I'm about five inches from the canvas, working on this white band here. If I can get some goodness to come up. here. I'll show you when I bring it up. Yeah, it'll, it'll develop over time. I'm just heating it up so it's encouraging it to come up.
It's starting. You can see them coming. So I like it though. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below and click on the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. I see a lot of my stuff on Pinterest. Thank you, whoever's doing that. Um, leave a comment. Join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. Check out my Amazon shop and check out my Etsy shop. Links are below. So there's the pretty. See that blue right there? It'd be on the bottom for you. So pretty. See the cells are coming up through. And if you look at the bottom of that, you can see some caterpillaring starting, which is neat. And then we get to this lighter, lighter shades here. So it's kind of cool. But yep, I'm happy with it. It's pretty pretty. Alright guys. So I'm going to head out and cut, shoot a couple more videos today. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye now.